Good morning, everybody. It's, it's a pleasure to be here with you. The ITF roundtables have a special meaning for me because my first contact with then ECMT was through a roundtable. I will not dare tell you how many years ago. <laughs> roundtables are a very important output and process in the life of the ITF because they bring together the knowledge from the experts and a very, very fruitful environment for discussion. This is a well-rounded formula. This is roundtable number 164. They have been going on for more than 50 years. It's an amazing longevity. But the process has been the same since at least my first participation. Again, I will not tell you how many years ago, but quite a few. Since I am Secretary General of the ITF, we have decided to ensure that every year there will be four roundtables, two of which are done outside of Europe. The ITF, having been a successor of what was the previous organization, European Conference of Ministers of Transport, had an initial behavior, I would say, that was too Eurocentric. And we are trying to avoid that. And roundtables were the first instrument that became deployed across the world. From those four roundtables, two are done outside of Europe in a theme that is chosen together with the host country. So it has to be a theme that is relevant for the local community. And the expectation that there will be a strong participation from the local research and policy community as we have here in the room. This is a very positive experience for us at the Secretariat by learning from your discussions and we hope that at the end you will feel that it has also been very good for you. We have also introduced last year something which is proving to be quite valuable. Since roundtable number 160, we now have video recordings of the presentations made by the invited authors. And then the chairman, at the end, also makes a video recording of what he sees as the main conclusions of the roundtable immediately after the end of the roundtable. Of course, if it was a month later, the speech would be a little different, but we want it to be while it's hot. What are the immediate perceptions that you have. We now have these things on our website very few days after the end of the roundtable. There's a minimum of editing, but I would guess that if you go there Wednesday next week, this will be there. And we are having very big traffic on those presentations, sometimes even a few months after they have been made. Previously, we were making the written text available. And we still do. But if you want to know whether something is really interesting or not, it's so much easier to get to the video. And then if you really think it is relevant, you go and read the paper. The paper has a bigger barrier to entry, as we say in economics. Video is simpler to try to get a good idea of what the author is saying. So this is part of the effort to reach farther out, to have better contact with the research and policy communities around the world. Let me just tell you briefly what are the recent topics that we've covered to see the, the range of the things that we cover. We've had the three, three last ones were one in Washington in October last year, Washington DC, renegotiation of PPPs for transport infrastructure. How to approach these renegotiations and what are their economic consequences. Then in Paris, measuring railway efficiency in November. And this year in March, we were in Mexico with a roundtable dedicated to logistics development strategies and performance measurement. <coughs> After this one, the next one will be in Paris, quantifying the socioeconomic importance of transport, the values of time and the wider economic effects. 
We will also certainly discuss some of the wider economic effects today in this session. So as you see, this is a very broad range of topics. It is always a very rich discussion. The chairman will tell you the rules for that discussion. It is very important that we follow those rules so that we have a maximum of stimulation of your imagination and your capacity. The end result, I hope, that all of you will feel after lunch tomorrow that these were very well spent days and a very good investment of your time. In the process, a bit of networking won't hurt. So I thank you all for being here, and I'm certain this will be a very successful meeting. Thank you very much.